Maxine, great to have you with us. Nice to be back. Yes, I'm so excited about this line because as you can tell, the fabric is gorgeous. Yes. We've got gorgeous colors. It's a croc embossed fabric. Um, it feels wonderful. It's lightweight. Gorgeous colors like what I call snowbird white. You've got golden honey, moulin rouge, mm -hmm. which I call my red, and then a gorgeous uh, black. And if, if you can tell with your uh, with the by the camera on your TV, there's a beautiful sheen to it. So um, I really wanted to bring that elegance of a handbag to a piece of luggage and so it's romantic it's feminine and when have you ever used those two words to describe right. luggage but I also want to bring ease back into travel because no matter what uh, this can look like a you know a handbag but it has to be a piece of luggage first and it is uh, the bag right in here the cabin bag in front uh, goes in the overhead bin above and then it's matching dome tote just fits easily under the seat in front of you and by doing that by bringing both bags on the plane, which you can pack so much. We'll show that very soon. Uh, you are saving $25 to check a bag. You're not waiting in a long line to check your bag. And that adds stress, right? Because you're like, am I going to make it through to the, through security and to my flight? And then you're not waiting after in baggage claim to reclaim your bag. So it saves you time, money, and you look fabulous. Again, the shape, uh, the colors, the style, it's just beautiful. Really unseen in luggage today. And we'll take you through these too, because really gorgeous pattern. And this particular color that you're looking at right there, that is our clay color. And then next to that is the camel, burgundy, or black. First time it's ever been aired. The wheeled cabin bag is about 16 and a half inches by 10 inches by 20 inches. So think about like a 20 inch Pullman. It just happens to have a great sense of style along with it. And then you're also getting the dome bag, which is 18 by 13 by eight. So it's right. really nicely sized. Big size. But nice you size. don't just design luggage. You have traveled pretty much everywhere. Yes. You've been there, done it, seen it. What do you love about this particular luggage collection? Uh, what I love is number one, your number one request to me was to make a beautiful piece of lightweight luggage that actually has structure to it. Uh, a lot of people who have had lightweight luggage before complain because it's too flimsy and they don't feel like their things are being protected. That's what's great about this particular material here. We search wide and far for it. Uh, the croco embossed fabric is super lightweight. It is six pounds unpacked. Wow. Six pounds. It, you could have a pillow fight That's with this great. piece of luggage. And you're going to be fine because remember, whatever you pack, and I know you pack a lot, uh, you still have to lift it over your head. So lightweight becomes extremely important. It's also important because now be, you're not checking your bag. You're actually keeping your luggage with you five, six, seven, eight, ten hours. Mm -hmm. You are lugging this around. So you don't want heavy luggage. I only put two wheels on this because to keep it lightweight, to bring four, you have to change the whole structure of the bag, and that adds a good three pounds. Okay. So I want to keep it lightweight. Again, so you see two wheels, very easy to maneuver. You've got a telescoping handle with one push button and uh, and then you lock it in place and you can lift it up from that. You can also use these gorgeous handles. They're not just for show. They're also to use to, to really pick it up but without having to bend your back and lift it up from that handle that's usually down here. So the handle takes stress off your back because you can just pick it up like this and not have to use your lower back or your knees to lift your bag in place. Nice. So it's isn't that amazing? It is. It's so really super lightweight. Super lightweight. I mean, it's yeah, yeah, exactly. it over my shoulder. Right. Guaranteed, my crew will tell you this is way lighter than any bag that I ever carry. And what's great about this shape is it, it's sort of a, it's a, I love the duffel look, mm -hmm. um, but that can be really slouchy and lazy. Mm -hmm. Here I just took the duffel concept and made it vertical and upright. Now let's go to the table so I can let's show you it. some of these features. And again, whatever you pack in here, you can use these handles. Don't be shy. These are meant to hold a lot of weight, all the weight you can give it. I'm going to show you something about the bag that makes this different than any other bag you've seen in luggage. All right, so you have these beautiful satchel handles. Okay. Now, to open the bag, start at the top. It actually starts at the top, goes down both sides, and works its way the entire length of the bag. So it opens up topwise. See that? Mm-hmm. Now, what this does, this is just not a novelty to make something different. It provides access into your bag, which you do not have when you have the traditional luggage that opens up like a book. Mm -hmm. So because you have your luggage now with you, five, six, seven, ten hours, what's happening is what? You want things that are in your bag. So if I pack the bag right and I think of what I might need in an airport, I'm cold. I'm just sitting here with my luggage. Open it up. Or if it's in Get the my jacket. overhead bin. If it's in the overhead bin, if great it's point. in the overhead bin, it's wheels and first. And it's placed like that. I can't get into this right here if I'm actually unzipping that and I'm lifting that up. There's no way to get into that. This is really pretty. 
the colors are much Gorgeous. prettier. Yes. Even when you see them, they because have a beautiful I'm seeing like the dark and the light and almost kind of creating sort of so an ombre stylish. print. So stylish. So stylish. So, and you made a perfect point. Now, if you're in the overhead bin, what happens when you sit down in your seat in the airplane? Once your bag is up there, you don't have access to it. Of course, you could bring it down, but you mm -hmm. don't have room to open it up and get your things. Again, here, just put whatever you think you may need uh, towards the top of the bag That's and great. grab it, when it while it's packed. You do not have that access with normal luggage. So that was just something I started to see because I spend a lot of time on planes, <laughs> believe me. And I watch people, and I watch people and how they are with their luggage. And that became a big issue. They were on the floor. They were opening up their luggage. They were, you know, you know trying to get stuff out, but they were actually on the floor. With this, you're not on the floor. It's upright. So extremely great access. Now, let's show you how much you can pack. Check. So I'm going to open this up. We already so have I have the jacket. Big denim jacket in there. In the bag, I have packed four tops. You can see some of them are thin, but most of them are big, heavy ply knit. And then I have four pairs of pants as well as a dress. Now, with four pairs of pants and four shirts, if they all match, that gives you 16 outfits. Does everyone hear that? This is my packing strategy. It is a super duper tip here. This is why, this is how you don't overpack. Four pairs of pants, four tops, if they all match, you have got 16 outfits. I threw in a dress, you have uh, 17. So now you have two weeks worth of clothing in this one bag. Unbelievable. So you're ready to go. So even though this has kind of a go-to weekend shape to it, this is a serious piece of luggage that you can take anywhere. Um, and then all of your other great features too. This is one of yeah. my favorites that you always include. When you're traveling and you're going onto a plane, they always say you're... Everything has to be in one little small place. Put right. that out. Anything that's liquid, right. you have to have it that in a separate area. Exactly. So this is your little separate TSA bag for your liquids. And it actually snaps in and out of the bag just so you know where it is. Obviously, you have to take it out yes. uh, when you go through security. So you have this ready to go. Uh, also, in the luggage, I have two great uh, big piece, uh, big, sorry, big, big pocket here. I've gusseted it so you can pack more into it. And then on the other side, Flip it over. Mm -hmm. On the other side, you have got two shoe pockets. I was going to say, those would be great for shoes. You got you to gotta have a place for shoes these days for ladies. Yes. But this is a fabulous piece of luggage. And again, because of how it opens, you will have access to your things, whether you're sitting in an airport terminal, uh, you know, a, you know a train terminal, whatever, bus terminal, as well as be able to get your stuff in the overhead bin. And I've definitely noticed people struggling because you have your luggage with you your entire time. So this gives you access well, to your And a stuff. lot of times, if it's something that's gonna go overhead, we're not as concerned about weight. Right. Because we think, oh, I'll take the heavy things out of that, and then yes. the bags that I've checked, I will put more stuff in. Here's one of the things that Samantha does that I think is really smart. Do you notice the shape at the bottom of this? Mm -hmm. Notice it's a little bit larger here on the bottom, and it tapers up and inward. That mm -hmm. keeps it from tipping over yeah, my exactly. luggage of your luggage never tips over you and ever I think see that's really straight nice. straight luggage that goes straight up you just know that that baby's just going to tip so you definitely need to put an angle in that so that you can pack the way you want to without worrying about the thing tipping over and like I always say we're all a little larger in the bottom so yes. <laughs> <laughs> it works yeah. for all of us that's why we don't tip over either right uh, the but other look feature how lightweight these it's are it's super lightweight six pounds you said six for this one this pounds. one's really this light this is six pounds so again you are lifting this over your head and people totally forget this when they're packing you still have to lift this over your head so you you definitely want lightweight luggage, but again, I've given you something that has a nice structure to it, so it's going to protect your things. This fabric, even though it is gorgeous, it is, you know, handbag inspired, is resilient, it's durable. If it gets a stain, just take a little bit of dish soap, a little bit of sponge, wipe it off so you can maintain the beauty of the bag. These gorgeous satchel handles, they're tough stuff. Don't think they're there just for show. Mm -hmm. You can lift the bag up just using these. And then in the front, I've given you an extra large pocket that also zippers down the entire way for easy access. Look at, you've got the entire pocket exposed to you, so you're not, if it's straight across, then you're kind of fumbling around to kind of find your stuff. This opens it up in a U shape, and as you can see, it is plastic lined. So that way, you can put things that are dirty in here, you can put things that are wet in here. Maybe shoes, this is a great place for shoes if they're kind of scuffy or dirty in the bottom, and you don't want them mixing with your clothes. So this is a great multi-purpose pocket that you can put anything you want in it that just kind of separates it from the main compartment of the bag. And then this one is less than two and a half pounds. So yeah. here's your dome bag, which is gonna be perfect for having everything you need. This is great for a good, 
weekend girls getaway. I, I mean, you can put a lot more you, in there. Absolutely. But especially if you have to have a really quick trip. I talked about yeah. even going on a cruise. For me, the most frustrating thing was having to fly to where our destination was, getting everything packed in yep. and going through the airport and going through all doing their all limitations. that kind of stuff. Yes. They put so many limitations so, on the And I don't traveler. want to have to get out after that, after I've finally gotten off the plane, right. and wait for my bag. It's exactly. nice when you can take that with you. Yeah. This is a great way to be able to take all of your luggage with you on board and not have to go through that. You can also check in much quicker if you don't have to check a bag, of too. Of course, of course. And Less you just, lines. you want that bag, like you said, that just inspires a, a quick getaway. Yes. Uh, it's a great, just like, let's date a vacation yes. as opposed to a serious commitment. <laughs> it's fun, it's got a great look to it. Again, it has a sophisticated urban look that I love that you just don't see in luggage. Uh, people will be stopping you saying, where did you get this? Now let's talk about the dome bag, uh, because this is actually quite large. It's large enough, if you look inside, to fit um, you know, whatever you would want to put your purse, um, put, put into your purse. You've got a security pocket right here for your wallet. You also here have on the other side, I've got made little compartments for a cell phone, as well as maybe some makeup, a compact. And what I like about this, and I think you gave me this idea, if you are carrying a purse, you can only take two items on the plane yes. with you. Again, here are the restrictions. Mm -hmm. Of course, if you don't take a plane, you can travel any way you want. But if we're on a plane, just take your purse. This is large enough to put your purse into and zip it up. And then you still have a lot more space than your purse will hold. You've got your purse, your other things, and you're good to go. Because they let you have a personal item. They don't say how big that personal item right. can be. <laughs> it can be a larger piece. It can I mean, be a larger piece. I got to tell you, my purse is really big, but yeah. it'll still pop inside into of here. here. I actually put my laptop in this, so mm -hmm. people are wondering if this would be a good bag to travel with your electronics. I have a, a an 11-inch laptop, and it fits perfectly in here. And I was going to say, in the size on this bag, I'll give you the dimensions on it. It's actually 18 inches in length and 13 inches in the height and about 8 inches in the overall thickness. You really do have plenty of room. Look at the different color choices, too. I want to remind you of that. Because the one that you can see right at the, the very first one, this is cam or this is the, our clay color. Mm. So it's a really beautiful shade of clay. The femininity of that touch of the bow, but it's done in that croco print trim. But this is also all done in the croco. And many of you know Samantha's luggage, and you love the luggage that we've been wheeling around all week. And we'll show you some component pieces that'll go along with that. But if you want lightweight luggage, that is a little bit more substantial in a piece of luggage. These are going to be lighter weight. So you can see that this is only six pounds. This one up here, only two and a half pounds. Most of us are handbags, way more than that. Then next to it, we have this gorgeous, rich camel color. It's got a little bit more of the cognac infused shading to it. Most popular right now, far and away, is mm. going to be the ruby color. And we know that you love your black, your classic basic black, but it's classic basic black that is now trimmed with this black patent croco and then gorgeous. zips all the way around. It still has the ability to wheel. Let me challenge you too. How many of us just need a bag to log all, or lug all of our stuff back and forth to work? I have a tremendous amount of paperwork, mm -hmm. extra shoes, extra things, <laughs> all of that stuff. This actually is a really good size for that yeah. because it is lightweight. Yeah. If you have to carry it up and downstairs, that's going to make a difference for you too. Yeah, I agree. And, and, and again, it has this softness. There's a femininity to this mm -hmm. bag that doesn't scream luggage. And so I know when people, yes. it, if you walk into an office, mm -hmm. you, you really don't want to be walking mm -hmm. in with your with your roll-on luggage that you see in the airport. This is something a lot more sophisticated, a lot more stylish. Uh, I've certainly learned a lot being on HSN now for a year. The women here are incredibly stylish. Uh, you, you love your jewelry. You love looking well. I'm just saying take it to your, take it to your luggage because mm -hmm. it's really important these days. You only get upgraded, if you've noticed this, if you look the part. Uh, if you walk into hotels, airlines, and if you look good, and this begins with your luggage, I think people think of it as an afterthought in terms of how you should look mm -hmm. and present yourself. I don't. I always like to look presentable, stylish, and luggage is a part of my, of my kit to do so. Right. Well, and you said it does make a difference. And if you think about this, because you made so much sense when you said it yesterday, if you walk in and you look stylish, yeah. they're like, ooh, she's our customer. Yeah, exactly. She's That's our customer. That's who we want right. to come back. We want her to tell her friends right. about this place. We want to create her uh, as a you loyal customer. You could be the most amazing, sophisticated, fabulous woman in the world and have all of that sophistication 
packed inside of your bag. Right. And you've got your sweatpants on because they were comfy. Yeah. And you go rolling on into the fancy hotel with a beat up luggage with a little bit of duct tape. You're not going to be upgraded. It's not in no. that same appearance, no, you know. No. And they sometimes don't take you as seriously. Yeah. But if there's that extra seat, like you said, all the people that are walking by, mm -hmm. the people in first class, who do they want everybody walking yeah. by? They want them walking by Who do you want them you? to aspire right. to be? Exactly. The HSN woman. Mm -hmm. I know her well. Let's quickly talk about the size of this bag because I know how important uh, size of bags are, especially because you want them to go in the overhead bin. This is 20 inches uh, by 16 by 9. So that puts it at 45 inches. Now, why that's important, I wanted to make this bag shorter and then and wider than normal bags. Why? Because then you have a greater chance of this fitting in the overhead bin. Again, every single flight I am on, uh, you know, 15 minutes into boarding, they make the announcement that your your bags, if you're in the fourth or fifth zone, will not be fitting. Who wants to check their bag? I know you don't want to check your bag, but you know when you get, if you're mm -hmm. in the last few zones that are actually asked to board, you're not going to be able to fit your bag because there's no space. Now, what gives you the edge with this bag? Because because it's shorter, it will definitely go in wheels first. You will put the bag in wheels first into the overhead bin. And if you've ever seen 22 inch bags, which are, is the standard, sometimes they don't fit because the airline has not created the oversized, mm -hmm. the extended overhead bin. So what happens? You have to put it then sideways. So that takes up double space. Right. And when you have a bag that only fits in because you can fit it sideways, your chance of getting into that overhead bin are cut by 50%. If you can fit it in fit, uh, wheels first, you've got a 100% chance of getting your bag in that overhead bin because it's going to fit. The soft sides makes it very malleable, so you can squeeze it into tighter places as well. So it is a great fit. So there's two things I really wanted, especially for this bag. I wanted it to be extremely lightweight for the customer who asked me for that. And I also wanted you to have a greater chance of fitting this in the overhead bin because really it's dictated by the airlines and we're just at their whim of what space is available in that bin. So if you have a, a shorter bag but wider, you've not lost any of your real estate. You haven't lost any of the valuable space that the airlines will let you pack, but you will get that bag in the bin. That's right. And you're going to love it. Here's the other thing, too. There's a little place right here on the base that you can lift that up. So helping you get that edge exactly. to get it up there, there's a little lift that mm -hmm. you can put that up and then slide that in. And hopefully there's somebody wonderful, one of, of those course. young well, teenage boys that, that says, right. Mim, can I help you with your <laughs> luggage? That would be lovely. Yeah. Thank you very much. Moms teach your boys that. We have, is it Nada? Hi, is your first name Nada? I want to make sure that I'm pronouncing that correctly. Yes, it is. It's correct. Beautiful nice to name. have you with us. Really beautiful. Nada from our own area, Miami, Florida. That can be a tough, tough airport. And you do not yes, want heavy luggage. It's a very luggage. tough airport. It, it is. is. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I come from all the New York airports, but let me tell you, it's not the Miami airport. I was going to say, I love Miami. I just don't like flying through there. You go to battle every day when you go in the Miami airport. So, Actually, it was worse coming back to LaGuardia airport. I didn't know which was worse. I was like, okay, I could take it one way or another. But let me say something. Samantha Brown, I love your luggage. Thank you. Love it so much that I purchased one. My youngest sister purchased one. And then when my older sister saw it when we got to New York City, purchased one as well. So I've got the purple, she's got the yellow, and my older sister bought the green. So we all have matching love sets. I love Ooh, it. I've inspired an entire family. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, and the, it's so easy to put up over that overhead bin. Mm -hmm. The little tote on the side to put in, like you suggested, to put in your, uh, um, what you might call it, when you go your in, passport, your, your, your boarding your ticket, pass. your mm -hmm. boarding pass. I mean, it was so fabulous just that right. everything's so accessible. Right. And we put this one in this bag as well. She's talking about a different line, but that peace of mind pocket mm -hmm. is amazing. Uh -huh. I put it at the back of the bag, and that means when you're going through security, you just put your most, uh, you know, important documents there, nothing else, and you always know where they are, and you can take them out at any time and put them back in where you know it's safe. And they it was fabulous. I loved it. And we got comments compliments left and right from folks at the airport, both at Miami and at LaGuardia. So Even in like, New York okay. City, you got compliments? Well, yes, that, yeah, we New Yorkers don't styling. talk to each other. We're That's pretty styling. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Nina, what color is your luggage, by the way? Mine is purple. My, yes. my favorite color is purple. My younger Love sister it. got the canary yellow. Then my older sister wow. got the beautiful forest green, I believe. Whoa, fantastic. I Great that. colors. Oh, yes. You guys yes. must be a sight to see coming down that, that hall. But you know I how know nice... We were 
kind of look and just kind of smile, like saying, okay, there's, they, they, they got it going on. Yeah. And they're like, yes, yeah, Samantha Brown. Yeah. That's right. You can appreciate <laughs> that sense of interested. style. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Nada. Thank well, you. Well, thank you. You guys have a great day. It was wonderful talking to you. You Take do the care. same. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And what Nate is actually referring to is another two-piece luggage set that we have available. I'll get you the item number for that because it will match and coordinate back with a lot of the other mm -hmm. pieces that we do have. But it's a little bit heavier. A little bit heavier, and right. And it's the one that I have, and I love my luggage. However, many of you asked for a lighter weight piece of luggage, which Samantha has also done for mm -hmm. us. But then you said, all right, we like the lightweight but we want more structure. That exactly. is exactly what this is. This is sort of in between. Yep. You had two different today's specials, mm -hmm. one that was in the all Croco, right. and then there was one that was very lightweight, and then this one's kind of the in-between yeah, on the because two. because I certainly understand. I travel one way, and I have things that I particularly like, and I know that you travel uh, maybe a, a slightly different way. So not one bag is going to be perfect for everyone, and this really helps that person who doesn't want to get into their bag all the time, you know, wants to have access to it, lightweight, becomes imperative, but they still love style. I know you love the Croco. We love that Croco. Here I've just put it in a lovely fabric that's completely resilient, durable, easily to wash with a little bit of uh, soap, dish soap, that's it. And it fits in the overhead bin with absolute ease. This is only 20 inches. So I've taken two inches off the top. Usually the bags are 22 inches. I've taken two inches off the top, but I've put them on the side because I don't want you to lose valuable space. So this fits in the overhead bin. It's got a great telescoping handle that snaps into place, and then you can actually use this as the handle if you want and then just kind of lift it over the head bin that way or should you choose you can use the large handles as well these are strong these are strong girls are going to take care of you and lift it up from there but as you see if this is in the overhead bin the way i'm showing it to you here you have access to your things That's, when you're sitting down you know so in the middle of that? that flight in the middle of that flight when you're like i'm cold and I put my sweater in my bag and I forgot to take it out, you can actually reach in and get it. Just make sure what you need or what you think you might have, want to have access to within the flight is at the top of the bag yeah. and then you can get it no problem. And then you're not lugging it around or wearing it and becoming too hot. This bag is doing all the work for you. And not trying to guess the zipper as you're going around on the zipper and all the way around. And then, oh wait, no, I just I made it brighter. It's zipper. like, exactly. doing right. all of that. It's true. Now we want to remind you, gorgeous color choice is available. This woman was saved exclusively just for this show. Yeah. The clay is really nice. It's such a unique color. It's like a lighter shade of khaki. And when I describe that, you know how when you think of khaki pants, mm. they're the ones that are more the cool color the in a khaki tone? That's a great, tone? great way to describe it, yes. That's kind of how I would describe this yeah. one. This has more the warm tones to it over here, which is our camel. But the camel combined with the black, that's really rich looking. Yeah. Even our producer was saying, he goes, I don't know which one. I like better. They're just really yeah. nice. Think about what you have in your wardrobe and what you might be wearing when you're going to be traveling. The ruby is the most popular and the classic black. If you, if all the rest of your luggage is all black and you want great black luggage, get this one because it's not going to look like all the other black luggage yeah. either. So we have Janet from Indiana. Janet, thank you very much for watching us today. You're on with Samantha Brown. Good morning. Good morning. Afternoon. I guess it's <laughs> afternoon now. It sure. is. Sure. It's morning somewhere. Great to have you mm -hmm. with us, Janet. You just ordered this luggage set? I did order it. I ordered it in Ruby. Wonderful. Um, and I also last night ordered the um, the green in the tote bag. Fantastic. Oh, the beautiful wheeled tote? Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, they, actually, those pieces will really go well with each other because you have the Croco, mm -hmm. and, but then you have the Croco fabric. So I like the mix and match. Well, it's, it's the reason I like the one today, because it is smaller than a regular carry-on, yeah. and yet larger, because I have another suitcase similar to that, and I needed something. If my husband can have the old one, I'll take the new one. <laughs> you know, and Janet, you bring up a great point, because even if you have the other luggage, we've all been there, and I have, you know, because I thought, oh, get the biggest one I can yeah. to go in the overhead bin, but they don't work no. in all of the overhead <laughs> bins. Yeah, it's tough. And then they say, well, now you have to pay for your luggage, because now it has to go, and I'm like, yeah. oh! And, yeah. You know, it's all that, yeah. it's that extra frenzy, it's that extra mayhem. Mm -hmm. And when you have one that's really lightweight, you want it to be lighter weight that we can just pop up overhead. Absolutely. It, it, what people don't realize is the airlines really dictate the overhead bin space. It's not a TSA regulation. It's not an FAA regulation. They can do whatever they want with that space. And so it's such an unknown when you get onto that flight what the overhead bin is going to look like and what's going to fit. But they do say 45 linear inches. Basically, it, you, you will be able to fit your bag in any flight. But I've also, although I have found with 45 linear inches, I still have problems if my 
I, ha I have a 22 inch bag because if those overhead bins aren't extended, that 22 inch bag then has to now go sideways and your ability to get space in that overhead bin is now cut in half because you're gonna take up double space. This, because of its shape, is just perfect. You're not gonna have any problems. It's gonna fit. I I was glad to see that because the last flights to Florida on smaller planes, oh boy, yeah. I have run into that problem, mm -hmm. and this size is perfect. I was able to fit clothes for nine days into one this size before, so that's why I wanted one for myself, and they're hard to find. Great. Hear that, oh, ladies? Yeah. She fit nine days in one bag. We like you're it. You're a trooper. You're a champion. We, <laughs> we like the way that you're, you're traveling, and you're making it a much better experience, too. So thank you very much, Janet. We appreciate your call. Thank you. Travel Thank you. light. Thank, Thank you. you. There we go. <laughs> Travel right, light. Travel light. Here Six we go. and a half pounds. This is one of the lightest weight pieces of luggage that Samantha has done. It was saved exclusively just for this hour. Three flex payments as well. I think it's thirty, right? Thirty-six dollars and sixty-five cents. This is the stone color. Mm. Very sophisticated. Very sophisticated. It has a little bit of a bow, but I think this is just as masculine. My husband would have no problem. He wouldn't with a bow. Carrying this, so, you've got a good all man. It has, it's just got you know a little bow yeah. right here on the front. But you know, in, and I would stick Could with probably the camo or the black or one of those because <laughs> my has that. So <laughs> our producer Daryl, who's a big guy, just said he goes, I wouldn't care if it was pink as long as I got my clothes there. <laughs> I know Daryl. I think he would care if it was pink. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, I think I. Uh, He'd just <laughs> say it was his daughter's. So he was helping her. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the other thing too, and she just brought up an excellent point as we were talking about traveling. It's sometimes it's the commuter flight. Yes. And if you're trying yeah. to get into some of the smaller places up in the Carolinas, yeah, you start on a big plane. Yeah. And, and now you're, you're trying to get maybe from you know, Charlotte into another area. You're trying to get to one of those little smaller towns into Durham yeah. or someplace like that or Greenville, South Carolina. You know you have to get on that little commuter and you get into that smaller plane that's flying into that area. Yeah. Now it's a completely different story. We have Brenna who's calling us, uh, there we go, <laughs> from North Carolina. Speaking of, Brenna, nice to have you with us. Thank you. Did you nice just to be here? I have a story for you. <laughs> we love it. Flying from North Carolina to San Francisco two months ago, my husband was getting the rental car, so I just casually, a blonde in black, with my beautiful black uh, inline wheel wheelie with my doctor bag on top of it, uh -huh. I wheel into the luggage area, and suddenly my matching black Croco suitcase comes down and. Three guys each grab one of the handles, one on the bottom, one on the top, one on the side, and together they carried it over to me. You know, so this is obviously yours. <laughs> Love it. And who says men don't notice luggage? I'll tell you they do. Oh. But also, several women came over and said, It's Samantha Brown. Where did you get that? Mm -hmm. and of course, I said, Home shopping. Mm -hmm. Excellent. You can't that. Keep a secret I love like it. that. You know? Isn't it nice? Because they noticed your style, they yeah. noticed that you had the bag. All of a sudden, you see this great bag coming around. Yeah, gorgeous. You go, now, all Ooh. I could think of is, what if I'd been with schlumpy luggage? <laughs> uh, you know, and Brenda, you, make, you bring up a, such a great point that people notice luggage, especially in an airport, because especially 90% of the luggage out there mm -hmm. is just ugly. And, and, and the, you realize the when you other see... Thing. The other thing is then I go to leave, and I've got my two-in-one with the doctor bag and the um, small case on one side with the wheels, and my big suitcase has the same wheels. So I am able to get outside without looking like an idiot or tripping <laughs> over it or anything. I'm just wheeling one on each side and looking very sophisticated. You, you, you had the world you know, in a, on a string, as I say. <laughs> right. Incidentally, I hope, Samantha, that you're going to do more in all black, because even though the two tone is beautiful that all black is a look that is just yummy <laughs> you like the all black good to know oh. i'll take your recommendation thank you so much <laughs> also i ordered your tote last night and i can hardly wait to get it because you thought that out just as well as you did these pieces Great. the fact that you zipper down the wallet way down the bottom mm -hmm. nobody's going to be able to rip you off on the beach exactly i was going to say the beach bag slash tote everything bag. everywhere bag brenda <laughs> well thank you for thank being such a fan so much. i appreciate it 
Thank we, you. I appreciate what you've done for women. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy. Wow. I love it. I know. That's wonderful. And she that's said, so you know what? Who says men don't love it? luggage? Yeah. Guess what? Exactly. Same guys that say, oh, I don't care what shoes. Oh, but you notice if we oh, have good yes. ones. Oh, yes. When women are dressed That's loving. the difference on it. Whether you <laughs> care or you don't care. We love this. Now, far and away, the most popular is going to be the ruby color on this. The camel is the most limited, however, which is the one that you're looking at right next to the ruby. And the second most popular. And then we also have it in this gorgeous color clay and that's just a little bit of that cooler tone to it very nice looking sharp design croco style but remember lightweight less than six pounds on this piece mm -hmm. two and a half pounds on this piece when it's empty so i mean yep. these are really nice lightweight pieces of luggage that have all of the structure on that everything is really thought about it so here's one that is my